girl and did to me. It's a great process, you know, creating a visual for what will be my next realm of music. Every creative step I take is something very important to me. It's definitely a process. I knew it. Check, yo. Yeah. Victorious. Trey Song's album package. Passion, pain, and pleasure. Let's go on that big one. Just make sure we put the blanks down underneath. It's Friday the 16th. I'm shooting a album cover a layout for my new album, Passion, Pain, and Pleasure. Basically, we're going to try to convey each emotion. It's almost though we're going to be acting out scenes, but in still imagery. One thing I knew that Trey could bring with his experience and just image-wise and, and charisma-wise, he can pull it off. One of the things we tried to do today was have him actually depict each of those emotions within every setup that we did. Are you can mark there, please? No, I, no I, I can already tell from like, what's there. The first shot was something down by the little lake they got. We're shooting out a bridge, a little water behind them, um, a little bit of nature. Daylight's always a great way to start. Yeah, you're gonna love this shot. This is me rummaging through dirt and picking up leaves for that. And I think Trey's album is gonna go beyond the summer seasons. So you kind of have to have images that emulate every season. Write to me now, deadpan and camera. Beautiful. Good, good. Look over your shoulder that way. Look towards Becca. Love that. Stay like that. Love that. Off to a good start for the day. Passion, Pain, and Pleasure being an album title, we want to give those emotions off with every shot one or another, passion, pain, or pleasure. You know, I think we've captured a lot of those. We put together a pretty intensive mood board for Trey so that you would know what we were gonna shoot the day of. It's open to interpretation, but it gives everyone like a solid idea of where we're going. This just came, kind of gave like a broad spectrum of like what we were gonna do press-wise. We do have a cover idea that later on in the day we'll start to shoot, you'll see it. That's our process. Three shots down, looking good so far. Amazing. There you go. Nice. Yeah. So the photographs are coming off really, uh, really rich. Uh, this is Sorry. this is definitely oh, what my imagination oh, was because oh, the idea nice. came about yeah, when I actually saw the pictures of the place. So this is the actual setting I saw it. Okay. In. He's captured it to perfection. It's almost overwhelming. The house has so many elements to it. I like the feel of it. I think it's such a contrast, you know, in terms of the style of the house and the age of the house and probably the history of the house and how it relates to what we're doing. It's a golden find, you know? Location has it all. This house has not been used for any R&B artist, any hip hop artist. This is virgin ground in terms of this project and in terms of this style, this genre of music that we're using it for. It opened itself up to being, this is Trey's house. In the progression of Trey's career, coming to this album, which means a lot and it's about all these emotional things, you find something clean that no one has touched that he can put all that emotion and that feeling into. This house was just ideal. I was impressed to know that I can come here and do a photo shoot and actually benefit from the beauty of the structure is, is amazing. One of the things I love when you work with an artist that cares about the creative and that is involved, I mean, that's a great place. I always love working for a concept because I always try to create a narrative and Trey wanted kind of a narrative through it. I mean, obviously with the title, it, it, it screams that. So to have him as involved as he was, and I would take that with every, with every artist I ever shoot if I could. We're wrapped, people. Rap. Thank you. Thank you. And it's a wrap.